Welcome back, High Achievers. I'm Justin. This is Next Steps Coaching, and on today's video, we are talking about the bad boss effect. We're going to look at how it impacts your whole organization and what you can do to fight against it, whether it's you or someone you know. So, let's go. T minus 10, 9, 8. Lift off. Before we get to the content, uh, I would like to remind you to like, share, subscribe, go ahead and leave a comment below today's discussion question, have you ever had a bad boss experience? Let me know in the comments below. So today we are talking about the bad boss effect and I'm really hoping you haven't been one but if you are no worries I'm going to have some action steps for you today at the end of the video so be sure to go ahead and stick around for that and you'll know how to fix the problem but I'm sure most of us have had a bad boss or two before unfortunately it's fairly common but if you haven't, let me tell you, congratulations. <laughs> That's amazing. Research has shown that the bad boss effect can wreak havoc on your entire life. Not just your emotional and mental health, the stuff we experience every day by going to work, but it can raise our, our blood pressure. It can affect how we interact with our family and those around us. The bad boss effect, it turns out, doesn't just mess with us during those work hours, but when we're around our loved ones as well. We take that stress home, and if we're not careful, we can take it out on someone undeserving of our frustration. Inside the workplace, the bad boss effect increases employee turnover, lowers morale, lowers productivity, and can damage the brand identity, either in the eyes of the employees, those experiencing it, or customers, if they happen to witness the negative interaction. So if you're struggling with the bad boss effect, don't worry, I've got three tips for you to help you out so that you know how to work through it. Tip number one is to Exercise. Exercise elevates our mood, controls our blood sugar, makes us happy, processes stress, and a whole bunch of benefits that we just don't have time to go into today. But if you follow this channel for any length of time, you know I love fitness. So know this. The single greatest thing you can do for your own health is to exercise. Run, walk, lift weights. It doesn't matter. Take 10 minutes at lunch or wake up an hour earlier. Whatever it takes. Putting time in to care for your body through the act of exercise will help you process what's going on. You will develop a better mindset. You will improve your outlook on life. You will care for your mind and your body. Make sure you stay fit and active. Tip number two is to seek definition outside of work. Look, I, I get it. The bad boss effect can be draining. When we go to a workplace that we dread, it feels like that negativity can consume us. That's why it's so important to have an outside identity, something outside of work. Don't let what happens in the 9 to 5 determine your identity or your destiny. Cultivate strong relationships with family and friends. Discover new hobbies. Read a book. Travel the world. Whatever it is, find something that can get you through the day to, to power you forward into growth and to remind you that you are not defined by the work that you do, but by the person you are. Tip number three is to mine your experiences. While we'd all love to just quit our jobs and the bad bosses we work for, the reality is that for most of us, this quite simply isn't an option. The fantasy of it is nice. The reality of it is another matter. So, work on your exit strategy. But for as long as you're at the company with the bad boss, experiencing the bad boss effect, mine your experiences. You know the studies have actually shown that we learn the most from the bad bosses? We learn, quite frankly, what not to do. We learn grit. 
We also learn empathy. We know what it's like to feel like bad at work, and we want to make sure others don't feel like that. So, I know it's not ideal, and I'm sorry you have a bad boss, but get as much experience and knowledge and wisdom out of it as possible. And it will serve you both now and in the future to help catapult you towards greater success. So, here's my bonus tips for you, those that have been watching this far, that maybe you're thinking you're the bad boss, or maybe you just want to be a better one, right? There's nothing wrong with that. We're all about performance and high achievement on this channel. Nothing wrong with going from good to great. So my bonus tips, number one, first, admit that you don't know it all. The mounting stress and the need to reform, the need to constantly win, that can be overwhelming. That leads to nowhere good, it's exhausting, and it will lead to burnout. And that is much more difficult to recover from than just admitting now that we need to grow. Second, apologize. Since you don't know it all, and you don't need to pretend like you do, you can now admit mistakes. And believe it or not, people resonate more with those who have and are willing to admit their weaknesses. In fact, I'd even go one step farther to all employees that are listening, never trust a boss, a manager, or a leader who thinks that they don't have weaknesses. And if you are that bad boss, there's your heads up, they won't trust you. Tip number three, get help. Get a coach, go to HR, find a mentor, read a book, attend a seminar, listen to a podcast. Since you don't know it all, and you can't admit that you're trying to grow and invest, put your energy there. A few tips about coaching, however you want to find it. Coaching has been shown to increase emotional intelligence, personal productivity, enhance communication skills, grow the personal bottom line, and it gives us an additional tool to then help our employees. It's a great way to advance your career no matter what stage of life you're at. So let me ask you, what stood out to you? Is there anything surprising? If so, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Tell me what you're going to apply today based on today's lesson. With that, I'm Justin. Those are your next steps, and I'll see you on the next video.